Run it. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, mm. make with my girl. Yo, what up, Pickles the guys in here to make a content creator, and I'm here with the one and only. Chelsea is elsewhere. Follow me on Instagram. All right, cool. I mean, you guys like the last time we did a collab, but we spoke about things that people don't really speak about. So again, we're back. So this video is about things people are not talking about enough about Japan. And I feel it's a crime. And I will go first because, you see, I want to say to the persons who were here before me that came to Japan, that you never told us as teachers that this is something that you'd experience as a foreigner. And mostly, it happens mostly to males. But ladies, you will never be left out. <laughs> yeah, you get a medical exam proctored by a Japanese kid. It's called a concho. This is not your friend. They stick their fingers, or try to stick it up your booty. And it's intrusive, invasive, and, and they don't respect my private space as well. So, yeah, it hurts. And sometimes... Does it really hurt? It, do they do it forcefully? It, yes, it's not, it's not a touch. It's a, it's a jab. <laughs> It's not like a Naruto or oh, oh, Jiu Jitsu, whatever. They slam it all the way up there and uh, <laughs> for the effect. But it happened to me once, like the first time, and I got I, my, my worst Jamaican came like, What you do? Um, and they got frightened. And, but it doesn't matter because it keep trying to do this. So I have to teach my back against the wall a lot of times. But yeah, it's not serious, but it's something that you need to be prepared for if you're not mentally in that space. Alright, yeah, what about you? It's just about things that people don't talk about in Japan. Yeah, in Japan. Okay. I have two points. Yeah, go, 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 go ahead. Well, my first point is that there's a lot of places that I think, a lot of other countries that do things more quickly and mm. more efficiently <laughs> than Japan. I would say that the most efficient thing here by far is certainly the public transportation. Oh, yeah. That they have down to a science that should be studied. Yeah. Um, otherwise, so much of the way they do things, there's a lot of bureaucracy. There's so much paperwork. Mm. It, honestly, it doesn't have to be done that way. And that brings me to my next point, which is that all this stuff about Japan being in the future, being in 2050, Japan is not that advanced, okay? Some of the most advanced things is, again, public transportation, mm. aka Shinkansen is like awesome, that kind of stuff. They're rice cookers, and, and I don't say that to be funny, but I'm yeah. like, a lot of their mechanical things because at the end of the day some of the best stuff to come out of japan is like it's it's like it's hardware and like machines mm -hmm. so like rice cookers computers back back in the day at least mm -hmm. that was that but sony yeah sony yeah, is japanese company. those kind of things cars are, hello cars. oh yeah their cars are amazing um but it's like they're certainly not living in the future and a good example that a lot of people who live in japan and work in japan will tell you is like they still use fax machines for everything in a lot of big businesses. Mm. That's crazy. Because crazy. they say that fax machines are safer than sending out company-wide emails. There's absolutely no reason why they shouldn't have the software in this day and age that's just as safe encrypted. as a fax machine. Yeah, like encrypted software. So it's stuff like that that's like, they are really behind on the times with a lot of things. Cool. Right, for me, another thing that people don't talk about enough is the extraness or the overdramatic or the pyrotechnics that Japanese people really are. Like, it's not a bad thing for me because I, I am extra, clearly, and I love how expressive they can be and how unhinged they get when they have a little bit of that liquid courage. <laughs> oh. Just a, that's even a lot, just a little bit. When they get drunk. Yeah, man. And the next day, it's like nothing ever happened. So yeah. But you know, I said I love that. Yeah, I love it. I, I don't. I don't mind like, it. Like I want to get drunk, and I'm like, let's just let's just act like it didn't happen the next day. It's fine. I pretty much don't. I only recap it, laugh, and then I don't speak about it ever again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm, no, because I don't want people to think that we're absolutely. No, 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 not crappy. Oh, no, the, tax, the taxation. Yeah, taxation. Yeah. That, was, that was my second point. Another thing that you should know before you come here is that Japan has a progressive tax rate mm. which is which is great that's why their social services are so good but the more money you make the, the more taxes you'll pay so most people probably pay somewhere between 30 to 35 percent of taxes on their salary um but the more money you make you could be paying well over 45 or 50 percent of your salary but you have to be really high up 
and so and then the thing about it too is that you actually see where your taxes are going so you see that the roads are well maintained the transportation is on time healthcare is is pretty much the first world for most things if you speak japanese it's much better for you of course of course doctors are supposed to be able to speak english because they're trained to but oftentimes they're not confident in their in their in their ability and this is the thing i don't like which is a good thing they don't overestimate their language ability so if they don't have a hundred percent mastery of it they're not going to feel confident in speaking meanwhile as stupid foreigners over here we can say konnichiwa otashiwa and we say we can speak japanese japanese people never say that <laughs> so i mean i guess they're humble in where it needs to be in some instances they're hu they are humble and they're like really shy so yeah well we don't talk about a lot of stuff all the time was oh look at this career look at this and that but yeah that's a quick thing very balanced you got the positives and the mini and the negatives because that's what we're about you see me i said and because the light is going bad and we never plan this plan this we just want to get something out for y'all follow 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 share 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 and the, the pigeons are coming and we don't want shit on us so we out peace bye and young what's what's what's